good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Rita Gatonye. Thank you for the introduction, Andrew. And I'm just going to um, frame what, what the wonderful work that has been happening in terms of in increasing the capacities of drug users to, to advocate. So um, we're talking about a, a, a training that was organized by Input and delivered by a very able Andrew here called Our Rights, Everybody's Rights. It is based on a technical assistance uh, module um, that was developed, was it last year? Sometime last year. And we had one training, we had a training, oh wait, there's a nice picture first there for you, for you all to see. <laughs> You know, you don't have enough slides. You just put, you know, put things that, that will send the message home. So, <laughs> yes, know your audience. So we had a, we had a training um, in Kenya. Um, this is re really just, this just frames what we're talking about. Just decriminalize poverty, decriminalize survival, and all the things that we do in order to do that, that, that are then um, criminalized. So we had a training in Kenya on, on this, um, our rights, everybody's rights, technical assistance. And then this year, the idea came to now gather um, pe uh, people who use drugs from all over the world to now have a global training of trainers. Um, so we had people from the Middle East, we had people from North Africa, Latin America, a lot of people from Africa, which was amazing, and we had people from Europe as well. And the first thing was to, the first agenda was to just build that relationship between um, drug user activists and advocates all over the world, which is something that Input is very, very good at doing, um, and setting the environment for the learning that was, that was going to take place. So um, uh, just an overview of how we did it, how um, we first had reflections on previous workshops and trainings and how people who use drugs have been engaged in the past, what has worked, what has not worked, um, where are we leaving behind people who use drugs when it comes to advocacy for our own lives, what is it that we could be doing different um, and we had a, a very practical discussion around that. Is it the process that we're using? Um, is it that we're not looking at the outcomes properly? Um, and then we also discussed drug use as a human rights issue. Uh, just, of course, to remind ourselves, we all know it's a human rights issue, but how do we apply the existing human rights um, uh, laws to our legal and policy context? We talked about the bold new targets, which I think is the hardest part for anyone to remember. It's just numbers, numbers, numbers. But um, but we've got the notes, so we can always go back. Uh, we talked about them and how we can use them going forward, and I think a bit later I'll uh, mention how we used it in the Kenyan context um, with, the, with the global fund process, writing process that just ended. Um, so we had now the actual practical, practical training on how to train, uh, which is always nice, um, but this was a lot different because the trainer himself just taught by example. So I learned so much more from what Andrew did than what Andrew said. Yes, which is a good thing, <laughs> which is a good thing. Um, so we talked about different sort of facilitation styles, skills, and um, the different sort of considerations, the physical, psychological, uh, and, and drug use reality considerations uh, that should be put into place when engaging with people who use drugs, uh, you know, if you want an effective outcome. We had lots of, um, lots of fun little things in there. We did the speed geek where um, as opposed to having all the experts come into one room and, and, you know, and talk and talk. Uh, so we, you know, we had a speed geek with Guna, we had Monica on the other side, in the other room, in the other room. It's very engaging, very fun, and, and, and different ways of learning. So we, you know, that was a, a re another very nice gem. Um, we, of course, we learned how to design a training program. Um, my colleagues have spoken about also developing advocacy roadmaps. We all did that for each of our countries, and then we came back and compared um, you know, our situations, and uh, also looked for paths of collaboration. Uh, we talked about, of course, you know, do we need to advocate or do we need to be activists? When do we shout? When do we stay quiet? Just the general things that we all know, but was in a very practical context. So um, I think that's very necessary for every, uh, every person who uses drugs to have. Um, these are just, again, more pictures to fill in the slide space. Um, <laughs> Next one, it says, people aren't against you, they're for themselves. Just another advocacy tidbit. Um, yeah, so the training basically was about building competence, capacity, confidence, and community. So, um, well, it sounds cliche, so C's, C's. I see we like alliteration at this conference. So um, competence is now just, just um, being able to arrange, arrange people in a way that makes the most impact. 
um, different ranges of skills at the same table, different ranges of expertise at the same table, so that you have that at the end of the day. Is that time? Okay. Uh, no, that's fine. That speaks for itself. Um, and, and just to finish up on what that training was like, um, this, is a, this is just a random picture I think we took on the street. And um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, is it a wine shop? <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> I did not see that. Yeah, we were probably, we probably had had some wine already. Yes, thank you, Sanpud. So, <laughs> so the point of this is that literally the magic is in the moment. It's in the corridor advocacy. It's in the smoke breaks. It's in the pictures outside the wine shop. Um, it's in the relationships that are built and, and the knowledge that is shared even outside of the conference slides seats area. So, um, and this is just, I'm just showing off the beautiful drug user advocates that we had. Yes. And yeah, so looking forward to having um, more of a conversation around that, Andrew. Thank you.